Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to the farm. We've got uh, we've got crop. We've got crop. I've um I've started working a bit up the hill here. I need to get this tree out of here. I don't know why it's why it's there, but we need to move that tree eventually. We've been up here on the hill working. Uh, I, I stacked those bales right there. Isn't that nice? Uh, I will just I'm just gonna put bales there till I uh, change my mind. We've been, we've been working up here on the hill just sort of Getting the hill ready To uh, to turn over to I don't know what Probably gonna make this another field though. I have been thinking I have been thinking we we might want to start a tree farm Because that's certainly something to think about Why am I gonna run all the way over here? I don't know Let's take the truck we're gonna drive the truck over there. We do need to harvest our wheat. So we'll do that in a moment. Uh, let's not run into anything. But we're gonna go ahead and buy this field, uh, assuming of course I can afford this field. Let's see what we can do here. Oh yes, I can. So I'll just go ahead and buy this field. Lovely. Now I was thinking about this. Now I've, I've got the baler and I have a mower. So what I think I might do is make use of all of this grass and I might just cut it all up and bale it. And then I at least have that. I can, I can sell that as a little, little bit of cash incentive. So let's, uh, let's go and grab the new harvester. And we'll uh, we'll start harvesting our. Do we want the old? Now nah, we'll take the new harvester. There we go. Yeah, we'll take the new harvester. Yeah, we'll get this guy going. I knew it was gonna hit. Just a matter of figuring out which. There we go. Excellent. Now, I was I was thinking a bit, and there's some there's some new things I'm thinking about picking up. One is a new plow. The plow I've got is, you know, it's fine, it does the job. But I'm thinking, I'm thinking a new, bigger plow might not be a bad idea. That reminds me, I need to see here. Perfect. Yes, that's what I want. Very nice. So a new bigger plow, I think, will come in come in handy for us. Uh, because, you know, as we get more fields going, we're going to probably look at... Well, you know, it's just easier. Because that little plow we've got... Well, it's a great little plow. I mean, uh, the field we just bought is probably the largest field by far that we own now. And we're going to have to turn that whole field over. And I, I don't I don't really relish the idea of doing that with the, uh, the small plow. So I think... I think we'll do that. Pick up a bigger plow. Now, if I'm going to make grass into hay, though, I'm going to need a couple more pieces of equipment, so we'll probably pick those up. And once we have that, I'm thinking we might need to look at the possibility of picking up a couple of animals. Not chickens, because we have plenty of chickens, and in fact, I need to go get some chicken eggs. But rather... But rather, um, not sheep either. Though sheep would be an easy... Sheep would be easy. I might do sheep as a start. I was thinking cows, but... I'm thinking uh, maybe sheep would be a, first, a good first starter. Though the sheep are all the way in town. 
it would almost necessitate me having a piece of equipment sitting down there. Because otherwise I gotta drive a tractor all the way down there to to take care of them. But we can we could probably so that might be a good idea. I think we might be getting some sheep. That would be that'd probably be good. Now we still got a good bit of that field up there to go. A good bit of that field left to go. It actually surprised me how big that how I, I I walked that area. I thought I knew how many trees were up there, but happened back when I was logging. You'd, you'd go into a, a logging claim and you'd say, oh, we've got, you know, so many cubic feet of, or cubic meters of log. And, and then you'd get in there and you'd start cutting and you'd, you'd go, wait, this is way more than I thought. So I think I made that mistake again. I, I guessed how much was going to be up there and there's just way more way more than I thought. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing, mind you. It does mean we have more money coming in. But it also means it takes longer to do anything. So we're probably maybe a third of the way. I don't even think we're a third of the way. What I did is I went in there and I, I went in and I specifically took out oak trees first. Now I don't like those oak trees, they're very difficult to deal with, but with the big LeBaire front loader, I'm able to cut them to big chunks and then haul them out in big units. And that was really great. That let me clear out all the oak trees and then I went in and I started going after all the birch trees. But I missed a bunch of them. There's a bunch of them still up there. Then once I cleared out the birch trees, I started going after maple and and uh, ash trees and all of that. But I'll tell you what, sometimes it's hard to sometimes it's hard to pull all of them out of there. So I finally had to give up and just kind of start in a corner and work my way through. Well, I will say. This new combine certainly makes us a little bit of a quicker job. Nah, it'd be nice if I had a little bit larger of a head on this guy, but still, it's much quicker than it was with the other one already. We only had to uh, go get the tractor one time for the uh, for that field over there, <coughs> where. Last time with the smaller harvester, we had to call that tractor, oh, I don't know, two, three times, I think. So it's certainly an improvement there. And of course, the new, uh, the new trailer we have, it's a much nicer trailer, much larger trailer. So that'll be good as well. Now, I was thinking, you know, we, we said we were going to go help the, the folks around with their various tasks when we got a chance and to my knowledge we don't we we haven't done nothing yet so what I was thinking about was it would probably be good if we went and grabbed our little uh, front loader put the pallet forks on it threw the mower deck on there and headed up to the little cafe that we went to last time. Hang out there, see if anybody has any work. Once we, of course, finish harvesting here. I want to let the straw kind of sit in the field a little bit. Kind of kindly reminds me that I need to actually do something when I do it that way. But I do want to go and see if we can, we can find somebody hiring, uh, running something, you know, on the pallet or or needs a little bit of mowing done. All things that we can do. So what we'll do is we'll finish up this field, I think. And then we'll go jump in our pallet for pallet enabled vehicle and go check that out. Well, there we 
go. Done. So we have 6,329 liters here in the harvester. 6,329. So 64. I'll just call it 6,400. And, well, we'll call it 63, actually. 6,300. And, okay. So, about 25,000 liters is about what we've got. That's not bad. About, uh, give or take, 25,000 liters on our two fields. And I believe... I don't know why I didn't put this pipe out to begin with. Um, I believe that together... These two fields are slightly larger but not greatly larger than the new field we just bought. There we go. This guy is filled up. How much do we have in storage now? That is a question. That was back there, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Uh... Ah, there it is. So you have 26,000 liters in storage right now. Kind of a mm, midland right now. So 221 at the freight yard, 334 at the elevator, 305, 270, 343. So I think, I mean, we can we can definitely sit and wait on a on a high demand. We don't need to we don't need to rush this into market. Which is, which is good for us. We can sit on this. We can hope for a, a really nice uh, a nice need for wheat in the near term. It's good to have that have that uh, just wait just in case because if something if some demand comes in that throws the price of wheat up two times, well then we're looking at much, much larger income overall. So we'll, uh, we'll wait for that. I just want to get this hevis this harvester, harvester. I want to get this harvester emptied out before we go anywhere. And then we'll go take, uh, the orange tractor there, put the pallet forks on there. I think I'm gonna have to dig them out. I think I put them in the back for some silly reason and put the mower deck on it. And then we'll go up and see what we can see. The nice thing is, I believe that's a front deck on the, for the mower, but that's not necessarily a bad thing for us because we can drive with it on the back of the tractor until such time as we need it, and then we can move it up to the front of the tractor, so it works out really well. All right, I'm going to park this here in the trees because I don't need it right now. Put the harvester up later, and I'm gonna need the the black beauty here to haul the the baler around. All right, let's go. Drop this over here. Go. And let's drop this off. We don't need either one of those. Now let's go get the other equipment. And then we'll head up, we'll grab uh, grab lunch, because it's about lunchtime, 11, 11 o'clock up there, according to my Google Glasses. So it's about, uh, about lunchtime, we'll go grab an early lunch see if anybody has uh, any tasks that need doing. We'll check first and then we'll, if if there's no tasks that need doing right off, then we'll go have lunch. Let's see here. How oh, good. I didn't bury it too badly there. there go. Get this guy back here. There we are. Perfect. Get those forks up where I can see them so I don't run into anything. 
Very nice. All right, let's run up. We'll run up to the uh, to the little bed and breakfast up here. A little inn, whatever you want to call it. Really nice place, really good food. So we'll run up here, see if there's any work. If there's none, then we'll uh, we'll grab lunch. And then we'll see if there's work. I wonder if they want those trees cut down. Probably not. <laughs> we'll offer to take uh, any trees they don't want down as well. All right, I'm going to kind of park over here because I don't want to park in a parking spot. That would be that would be rude, I think. Let's see. Oh, South Lawn. South, South Lawn. Let's do it. Yes. All right, let's uh, let's head in that direction. Where my where my button? There it is. All right, so I'm there. It's there. Uh, really not sure which way is the fastest. We're gonna go this way. But yeah, it looks like this will take me down. Okay, yeah, we'll take this road. Ooh. <laughs> I didn't realize it got so narrow right there. Okay. Ooh. Oh, okay. That's what that road was. I always wondered what that road was for. <laughs> I'd, dri I'd drive along there and I'd be like, I wonder where that goes. Never even dawned on me. I'm going the wrong way, am I not? I am indeed. Thankfully, we drive a tractor. I used to do this plenty of times. Only I, it wasn't in a tractor. <laughs> it's usually in a truck. There we go. There we go. Nice and easy. We're down. Made it down the hill. Good. Perfect. Okay. Let's get to the south lawn. I don't know why they don't have their own tractor to do that, but they don't. Now, I could, I think, drive backwards if I really wanted to. I could just reverse around. But I don't think we're going to do that. Oh, my. They didn't exactly leave me much room around here, did they? All right. Flip ourselves around here. There we go. Let's cut the south lawn for these people. Oh my. Oh my. This is this is gonna be a a test, I think. A test of our ability to navigate our tractor. We're not going to be able to get into that corner very well. I don't think we're going to... Well, can we? Oh, we can just fit between those two trees. Okay, we got to do it this way. Get through there. Yes, we can. Very nice. Look at that. Oop. Alright, there. Whew. A lot of a lot of trees in this area. Makes this job a little bit more difficult. Let's see if we can see if we can achieve their level of set of of mow with all these trees. Oh, there we go. I kind of wanted to go. There we go. That's what I wanted. Probably could use something like a little, little riding lawnmower. That would probably work a lot better than this. I'm concerned about getting the forks up in the trees, too. Maybe I'm going to offer to clean off these... Uh, these trees for them. It's probably why they hire someone to do this because they're just like, oh my gosh, the trees. Okay. 
Go. Perfect. Ish. <laughs> We're getting there. Getting there. I am really worried about the forks. I'm gonna put them down. It's not gonna work. Now I'm gonna. Now they're gonna be in my way. All right. There is some pro driving right there. Reminds me of some of my some of my crazier crazier driving adventures. I will talk about that sometime. We won't talk about that today. I'm gonna have one dented up mower deck after this. And look at that. <laughs> we did it. We got ourselves a little bonus. That was very nice. All right. Let's put that down a little bit. Can we just, yeah, we'll just drive like this. <laughs> wow, that was, that was extremely difficult, I would say. They, they, I need to, I need to have a conversation with that guy. Uh, the guy that owns that field. I'm going to have a, I'm going to have a talk with him, see if he wants me to pull those trees out of there for him. I'll happily do that. I won't even charge him a dime. As long as I can keep the wood. But yeah, that's that's woo -hoo -hoo, that's difficult in there. Otherwise, yeah, I don't I don't think I'll be mowing his lawn anymore. Some crazy people. Alright, well. We've got that done. This takes back to the farm, right? Yeah. Where's that go? Oh, that goes to the side yard. Yep. Sure does. Okay, let's um let's drop this off. And we'll go uh Uh what are we gonna drop off? We're gonna drop this off. Gotta remember what I'm doing when. Alright, get that out of the way. that go now let's get the forks you know what I'm just gonna leave the forks with this thing whoa because it just makes sense I'm always gonna be kind of going looking for for any extra jobs with that equipment all hooked up now let's um, I can't run it but I can retrieve it Retrieve the baler here. Go. Now I'll just run it over here, and then we'll hook it up to uh, Black Beauty there. We'll bail all this off. I should have put the bail fork on this tractor, but I didn't. And I've got plenty of work to do with these trees. I mean, there's, there's a good bit of tree up in this field here, and I've got to, I've got to work my way through it, kind of removing as much as I can. There we go. Drop that off. 
<laughs> um, what I've, I'm doing is kind of stacking lumber. You can see I've got myself a little small stick stack here, and then I make a big stick stack, and then I just use the labare here, and, and I just scoop it all up. Except for the birch trees. I just pile them in a pile and burn them. That's pretty much what I have to do. I don't burn them, but I just, you know, we get rid of them. <clears throat> and then we have over here, we have all the little sticks that I didn't manage to get because they were so small. All right. Well, let's, um, let's get Black Beauty going. That's what we're going to do. My brown tractor that is supposedly a black tractor. And I'm going to just keep all of the, um, oh, I know what I was going to do. Stop that. Let's check this. Let's, um, let's see what we can let's look really quick at. The Tedding World, 10,000 for a Coon Tedder. And much more for this Podner Tedder. I don't think I need 13 meters. I think I can get away with this 6.5 meters. That'll work fine. Um, and then I need a wind rower. And I'll probably just go with the Coon wind rower also. What else do I need? Huh. Oh, I said I was going to look at plows. So we were running this one. I can run up to this guy here. Let's see. Two meters. That adds a half meter. So I think these ones are just getting a little bit too big. And I, you know what? I'm not even going to trade this one in. And here's why. I'm not going to trade in the coon because I think there are going to be moments when... Let's see. Do I have... Yeah, we'll just take this tractor. There are going to be moments when I'm going to need a small plow to do a little bit of cleanup work. So we're going to keep the one plow. We're going to get a second plow. We're going to have to do a little bit of rearranging of equipment because the way I got some of my equipment parked, not really going to work. I think I'm going to, I'm going to look around about parking some of my uh, forestry equipment in a little bit different configuration inside my forestry building. Then I can get some of my my other equipment in there, but let's uh, let's run down here to the shop and pick a, and uh, buy our new equipment. Go, just so that we have it and we're ready to go when we clear off that field. All right, so in the tetters, let's just get this coon tetter. And in the wind rowers, we're going to get this Coon wind rower. It's kind of like we're sponsored by Coon, but we're not. Um, yeah. Do I need anything else? Not really off the top of my head. So let's pick up. See, that's only 2.5. But if I buy this one, I'm going to look at a much bigger. Okay, 225. Hold the phone. Uh, what are you powered at? 263. Okay, so I have... What do you need? You need 300. So I need to get this one here. Yeah, let's go ahead and buy that. All right, let's check this out. Yeah, now that, that, that is a big plow. <laughs> wow, that is a big plow. Okay, I think this one thing lifts. And if so, then I can take two pieces of equipment with me. You know what? I'm going to I'm going to talk to the guys here about tearing down some of these trees cuz this is this is ridiculous. Makes it really hard to get in here and get equipment. Yeah. That Pull through the trees there. go and then I'll come down and get that that plow a little bit later I don't need it right now so it can just stay down here I, I really don't need this stuff right now but it's okay 
It's okay. So we have a tether and we have a wind rower. So when I get field 25 all taken care of, I will uh, be able to cut grass and then uh, tether it and wind row it. And then I'll have hay and we can stockpile some hay along with our straw. And I think what I'll do is I'll look at putting it up in a building here. I've got I've got this building right here we're coming up on. And I've been I've been storing forestry equipment in here, but I think I think I can uh, store the the straw and the hay over here in that area, kind of where I'm going to put this equipment sort of. Oops. Kind of put it over in the corner here and then we'll have it in in the time when we need it. Flip around and park this in here. Crash it into something. That works. Oop. There we go. So I'm thinking I can put the straw here. I can just kind of pack it in here. And I can put the hay over here. And then we have... I can put the forest equipment. I can pack it more tightly in over on that side of the, of the building here. And then um, what we can do is we can plan long term to put in another building somewhere. I'll find some place somewhere to put in another building I'll have to get the wood and all that stuff. But still, um, you know, we're, mo we're moving. We're starting to we're starting to get the, the feel of the farm. I think it's looking good. I got a long ways to go on this field. Um, so I'll I'll be, be working a lot on this field. It takes a good several hours, you know, to, to cut down a tree and get it all prepped and everything. Well, several trees. All right, well, there you go. Until next time, hopefully we'll have this field ready to be mowed. Mown? Mowed? We'll mow the field and get some hay. I'll get up the straw. And now let me look really quick. I got no barley. I need to I need to lay in some barley and some canola. So we'll look at laying in some barley and some canola here. Um, we'll probably run barley this first time. And then we'll probably hopefully we'll be able to harvest some. But we'll definitely be cutting this field up next time and be ready to have ourselves a good old big farm. And we have to save up for this field. I don't even know how, where is, there it is. Let's find out how big and expensive this field is because this one's going to be another one. I'm looking at all these trees in here. Oof. All right, let's see here. 57,000. All right. Well, we'll we'll look at uh, picking up this field some other time. All right. Well, until then, y'all be careful out there. <laughs>